Nage no kata consists of 15 representative throwing techniques, three each from the five major categories, tewaza, koshiwaza, ashiwaza, ma tsutemiwaza, and yoko tsutemiwaza. This kata was created to help understand and master the theoretical basis of each technique, from kuzushi, balance breaking, to tsukuri, setup, to kake, execution. By practicing the kata, students learn the basics of nagewaza. This is a powerful demonstration of nage no kata by then 7th Dan Daigo and 5th Dan Matsushita during the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, when the Nippon Budokan was the venue for judo. Precision, sharpness, power and vitality are the qualities demonstrated in this well-executed nage no kata. First, let's watch the entire nage no kata. Tori stands to the left and Uke to the right facing shomen. They begin with a standing bow to shomen. They then face each other and perform seated bows. They then stand, take one step forward with their left foot, assume shizen hontai, then take another step to start tewaza hand techniques. The first of the three tewaza is ukiyotoshi. Tori takes two large steps back and breaks uke's balance to the front by pulling down strongly with both hands. Each of the techniques in nage no kata are executed twice, first from the right and then from the left. Seoi nage. Uke attempts to strike Tori's tentacle or top of the head with his fist. Tori blocks the blow and seizes Uke's arm to throw him forward using his shoulder for leverage. Both knees should be straightened when executing the throw. Kataguruma. Tori uses his hips to lift Uke on his shoulders in one unified movement and throws him forward diagonally. Take care to perform the throw in the middle of the dojo. After finishing the three tewaza, both Tori and Uke return to their original positions and with their backs to each other quickly adjust their judogi. And now to the koshiwaza, or hip techniques. First, ukigoshi. Taking advantage of Uke's attempts to strike Tori's tento, Tori pulls Uke's hips towards him and twists to execute the throw. Harai Goshi. Tori presses his hip firmly against Uke's abdomen and throws him by sweeping upward against his leg. Tsurikomi Goshi. Tori grasps the back of Uke's collar, lowers his hips and presses them firmly against Uke's front thighs to throw him. After finishing the Koshiwaza, they proceed to the Ashiwaza foot and leg techniques. Okuri Ashi Harai. Upon grappling, Tori seizes the initiative and controls Uke while stepping sideways. On the third step, the Tori sweeps both of Uke's feet in the direction in which he is moving. Be careful not to make it a Deashi Harai. Sasai Tsurikomiyashi. Tori needs to turn his body outwards and pull hard to break Uke's balance. Tori applies the sole of his foot right above Uke's ankle to prop and throw him.
Uchimata. Tori moves forward and on the third step draws Uke back diagonally in a wide circular motion. As Uke is about to shift his weight to his front foot, Tori presses the back of his thigh against Uke's inner thigh to reap and throw him. From Ashiwaza, we now move on to Masutemiwaza, the supine or rear sacrifice techniques. In Tomoe Nage, Tori takes three steps forward to off-balance Uke to the rear. As Uke resists by pushing back, Tori lowers his body and breaks Uke's balance directly to the front to throw him. Note that the transition from Tomoe Nage to Uranage is fairly quick. Tori arches his back, using the action of his hips and arms, and throws Uke over his shoulder. Sumigaishi. Tori attempts to break Uke's balance while maintaining his own jigotai, or defensive posture. He takes one big step back and breaks Uke's balance to throw him. Tori applies the instep of his right foot against Uke's hikagami behind the knee. And now the last category of nage no kata, yoko sutemi waza, yoko gake. Tori attempts to break Uke's balance by forcing him to shift his weight onto the outside edge of his foot. Tori then sweeps Uke's foot in a short, sharp motion, right under the ankle bone. Yoko Guruma. Taking advantage of Uke's attempt to strike Tori's tento, Tori breaks Uke's balance to the front, slides his leg in between Uke's legs and throws him. Timing is the key to this throw. Finally, Ukiwaza. Tori lowers his hips to ankle level and breaks Uke's balance diagonally to the front to throw. After completing the series of 15 techniques, Tori and Uke return to their starting positions and adjust their judogi. They face each other in Shizen Hontai, or the natural posture. In unison, they start stepping back, starting with the right foot, and kneel to perform a seated bow. They then stand, turn to face shomen, and perform standing bows, then exit. Let's review the main points of the kata beginning with the etiquette. To show respect for each other, Tori and Uke perform a standing bow, bending forward from the waist while sliding their fingertips down to their knees. To perform the seated bow, kneel left foot first, toes on the floor, then right foot and sit on your heels. Slide both hands down your thighs and place them on the floor, about six centimeters apart, fingers pointing in. Let's look at the standing bow again. The upper body should be at an angle of about 30 degrees. When sitting in seiza, the big toes should overlap. When performing the seated bow, the forehead should come to about 30 centimeters above the hands. Make sure not to raise your hips. Place the toes of your feet on the floor and stand, starting with the right foot. 
浮き落とし。Starting from a position about 60 centimeters apart, Tori and Duke move in tsugiyashi, or the shuffle step. Tori takes a second large step backwards to break Uke's balance. He immediately steps back again and pulls down strongly to throw Uke. When pulling down, Tori should place the toes of his left foot on the floor and fix his gaze ahead. Note the position and angle of Tori's feet upon completing the throw. The angle should be about 30 to 45 degrees. The main point of Ukiyotoshi is to pull Uke down on the third step. Seoi Nage. Uke attempts to strike Tori's tento with his fist. Tori deflects the blow and seizes Uke's arm to throw him forward using his shoulder for leverage. Uke raises his right fist overhead and attempts to strike Tori's tento with the uzumaki or base of the fist. Tento refers to the upper forehead. After deflecting Uke's strike, by seizing the back of Uke's upper arm and breaking his balance, Tori lifts Uke on his shoulder and presses his back firmly against Uke to execute the throw using his shoulder for leverage. When executing the throw, both knees should be straight. In this poor example, Tori uses his arm rather than his shoulder to control Uke's arm. Here, incorrectly, Tori lunges forward and turns to throw Uke without breaking his balance. In this correct example, Tori deflects Uke's blow by seizing his upper arm to break his balance. He then uses his own shoulder for leverage to throw Uke. Kataguruma. On the second step, Tori switches his grip to Uke's right inner sleeve. He then takes a big step back to break Uke's balance, bringing his left foot near his right foot and lowers his hips to lift Uke up and throw him diagonally forward. When lifting Uke, Tori should lower his hips and press the back of his neck against Uke's hips. If the position of Tori's neck is too high, it will be difficult to lift Uke. Tori should not grasp Uke's pants when lifting him. He should merely press his palm against Uke's leg. When lifted, Uke should straighten his knees so that his entire body is straight. He supports himself by pressing the palm of his hand against Tori's back. Ukigoshi. Uke steps forward and attempts to strike Tori's tento. Before the blow connects, Tori pulls Uke's hips towards him and twists his body to execute the throw. While deflecting Uke's blow, Tori should simultaneously lower his left shoulder and bend at the waist to grasp Uke's waist from behind, sliding his left hand along Uke's belt. Here, Tori's hand is too high. And here, Tori has lifted Uke onto his hips, making it an ogoshi. Tori draws Uke's hips against his body and twists his hips to execute the throw. This rare footage shows the founder of judo, Master Jigoro Kano, teaching students ukigoshi, a technique he was particularly fond of. He explains the difference between ukigoshi and tsurigoshi, emphasizing the importance of twisting the hips to execute the throw. Hand 
Harai Goshi. After taking two steps, Tori breaks Uke's balance diagonally to the front and presses his hips firmly against Uke's abdomen, sweeping up with his leg to execute the throw. Tori removes his hand from Uke's front collar and slips it underneath his arm and behind his back to pull and break his balance. When sweeping Uke's leg, Tori must keep his leg straight, not bent like here. Tori sweeps his leg up against Uke's leg. Tsuri Komigoshi. Tori grabs the back of Uke's collar and steps back in Tsugiyashi, pulling Uke forward to break his balance. After taking the third step, Tori presses the back of his hips firmly against Uke's thighs and lowers his hips to execute the throw. Tsurikomigoshi is the only technique in Nage no Kata in which Tori grabs the back of Uke's collar. The key to this throw lies in Tori's feet. The correct movement. And the incorrect movement. If Tori bends down low, he will not be able to apply the throw. Here correctly, Tori lowers his hips so that the back of his hips are pressed against Uke's thighs to execute the throw. Okuriyashi Harai Tori responds to Uke's attempts to grapple and steps sideways, forcing Uke to bring his feet together, sweeping both feet in the direction they are moving. Seizing the moment when Uke brings his feet together, Tori sweeps beneath Uke's ankle bone in the direction in which they are moving. Be sure to sweep both feet to distinguish this from Dayashi Harai, which we can see here in this incorrect example. While sweeping Uke's feet, Tori lifts Uke with both hands in a scooping upward curving motion. Sasai Tsurikomiyashi. Tori steps back in Tsugiyashi and turns his body outwards so that his toes are facing inwards. As Uke comes forward, Tori applies the sole of his foot just above Uke's ankle and throws him forward in a large circular motion. The key to Sasai Tsurikomiyashi is for Tori to turn his body outwards and pull hard to break Uke's balance. As Tori steps back in Tsugiyashi, he turns slightly on the third step, pulling Uke forward to block his ankle and throw him. Uchimata. Tori grabs Uke's front collar and steps forward diagonally with his left foot to draw Uke back in a wide circular motion. Just as Uke is about to shift his weight to his front foot, 
Tori reaps the inside of Uke's thigh to throw him. Here, Tori incorrectly attempts to break Uke's balance using force only. Here, Tori incorrectly lifts Uke onto his hips, as in Hanegoshi. The key to Uchimata is for Tori to turn the back of his hips towards Uke and sweep through and lift Uke's inner thigh with the back of his own thigh. Tomoe Nage. Tori pushes Uke, and Uke resists by pushing back. At that moment, Tori releases Uke's sleeve and grabs his front collar. He simultaneously lowers his body and places the ball of his right foot on Uke's lower abdomen to throw him over his head. The key to Tomoe Nage is for Tori to pull Uke towards him with both hands to break his balance. Here, Tori is too direct, making it difficult for him to break Uke's balance. Here, Tori's body is too low, making it difficult for him to break Uke's balance to the front. Tori applies the ball of his foot to Uke's lower abdomen and uses both hands to pull Uke towards him in a downward arc and throw Uke overhead. Uranage. Uke moves forward to strike Tori's tento. Tori pulls Uke closely to him and arches his back to lift and throw Uke over. The key to Uranage lies in how Tori uses his hands. When pulling Uke towards him, Tori places his left hand alongside the back of Uke's belt and the palm of his right hand against Uke's lower abdomen. He then uses the action of his hands and hips to lift Uke up and throw him over. Uranage should follow Tomoe Nage immediately without much pause. Uke should avoid providing momentum. Sumi Gaishi. From Jigotai, or the defensive posture, Tori pulls Uke forward with his right hand while stepping back with his right foot to break Uke's balance. Trying to recover his balance, Uke aligns his feet. Tori seizes the moment to break Uke's balance forward, hooks Uke's left hikagami, the point behind the knee with his right instep, and throws him overhead. This is how to grapple in Jigotai, or the defensive posture. Tori and Uke slip their right hands under each other's arms and place their palms on each other's backs. Their hips are lowered with necks slightly bent. Tori should throw Uke straight overhead. Tori should hook Uke's hikagami, the point behind the knee. Tori breaks Uke's balance while still in Jigotai and throws him without loosening the tension that exists between them. Yokogeke. Taking his second step back, Tori pulls and turns Uke's body halfway towards him to break his balance. Taking another step back, bringing his right foot near his left foot, Tori forces Uke to put his entire weight on the outside of the little toe of his right foot. He then thrusts and sweeps Uke's right outer ankle with the sole of his left foot. Tori pulls with his left hand and pushes with his right hand. And on his third step, he breaks Uke's balance, so that Uke's entire weight is on the outside of the little toe of his right foot. 
Tori sweeps the outer ankle. The key to Yokogake is to off-balance Uke so that his entire weight is on the outside of his little toe and then thrust and sweep his outer ankle. When falling, Uke should not let his feet come up. Yoko Guruma. Tori makes use of Uke's attempt to strike his tento to apply uranage. But anticipating this, Uke bends forward at the waist to defend himself. Taking advantage of Uke's position, Tori breaks Uke's balance to the direct front and slides his right foot between Uke's legs and throws Uke over his left shoulder. Uke should make it clear that he is bending over sharply to avoid being thrown with uranage. The key to Yokoguruma is for Tori to take advantage of Uke's attack and break Uke's balance directly forward. Then Tori slides his leg between Uke's legs, throws his own body to the side and twists as he throws Uke. Ukiwaza. From Jigotai, Tori brings Uke's body up with his right hand while taking a big step back with his right foot to break Uke's balance. As Uke steps forward to maintain his balance, Tori slides his left foot directly to his left side along the mat and throws Uke in a large sweeping arc. Note the correct movement of the feet. Tori should not draw his left foot towards his right as shown here. Uke presses his legs against Tori's thigh to perform ukemi. Master Jigoro Kano, the founder of Judo, said, Kata and Randori are like the two wheels of a cart. They serve no purpose without each other. Their relationship is similar to that of grammar and creative writing. Kata being the grammar upon which Randori, the creative writing of Judo is based. To effectively master the principles and techniques used in Randori, students must practice Kata to gain a true understanding of the essence of Judo.